it's a tough one because there's a lot that comes from like your self-esteem and how you feel about yourself and how you whatever is happening with yourself that I don't know because I again I don't know you as personal as that but what worked for me was Kind of what Nike says, just do it. Ding oh my god, I know you can something hear started me. with Open the music and it was so creepy. I'm gonna mute this thing sketch. I was like, oh my god, you guys, I think you heard it. I was like, oh, um, I muted it now. So, the just do it. It. I know that it sounds easier said than done, but let's put it like this. When people are looking at reference, nobody's looking at you. I know that it sounds weird, but when I look at reference, I don't look at you, Anoush, the person. I look at the character. It's like when I was looking at Maya's uh, reference, I was saying, like, sometimes I would slip because, yeah, I'm not, like, perfect, but I was always saying he. And Maya, again, I'm not sure, but... I think you might identify as female, is not a he. But I see the character through the performance. So that's something that try, like helped me a lot to kind of get over it because do I had, this is how bad it was for me when I was younger. I used to have a friend who we used to do calls on, uh, on Skype I could not talk on the video because I was so, like, I was too self-aware and I was feeling really not comfortable with anything. I thought I was speaking wrongly. I would look bad. I was very uncomfortable. It, I, I could literally not speak with him. And now I'm doing a Twitch stream. How did I make that happen? Just forcing myself to go through this. And again, when people look at the reference, Nobody cares about you. Nobody's looking at you. Nobody's looking like, oh, look at look at what they're wearing or look at, I don't know, look at they put on weight. Like nobody's judging you. What they are judging is your performance. They are judging like, is this character feeling like a character? Is this character feeling like the character that they they want to convey? Also, the more that you push yourself to show the reference, the less you're gonna care. At the beginning, is so hard. I remember shooting reference for my first AM assignment and I wanted to die on the inside. I was like, oh my God, I can't do this. I I just, I, 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 was, I, was, I was dying on the, because I'm very shy. Like I, I know it doesn't seem like it because I'm doing Twitch, but this is because I made my comfort zone. But I don't like any of this I don't like people looking at me I feel like everyone is judging me all the time like I I don't like it because I'm I have a lot of self-esteem issues and that's sometimes that happens to people thank you I, I'm opening it here so that I can check it later the more that you show your reference to people the more you're gonna notice and see that no one cares and that people only care what character they see through you and so the the less aware you are of yourself and the more you put yourself in your car in the character's shoes the better the reference is going to look and the less people are going to see you and they're going to see the ref the the character easier said than done i know but the only way to get over this horrible feeling which i again i understand is to keep pushing and Showing it here, where I don't know how many people we have today. Let's say we have 10 people in the chat. 10 people were going to see you, your reference. You're going to have to, you're, you're going to go through it and you're going to live the experience of other people seeing your reference. And you're going to see that you're still alive. Nobody cared nobody's judging you it's like also it's not like i see reference from people and i'm like did you see how they looked on that reference like no at the most i'm going to remember 
like the, the way my lighting is changing is so annoying. At the most, I'm going to remember how the performance was. And if it was really good, I'm going to remember it forever. Again, like my friend Catherine, who makes incredible reference, or my friend Eric, who I got him to shoot some reference for me for Spirit. It was uh, Jim, the dad of Lucky. And the re literally, the shot was him saying, Lucky. That was it. But he did some really cool things with his eyebrows, like tiny micro movements. That's what I remember. I don't remember, like, it was, I was seeing the character through him. And you, th this is the best place to starting to like start to get used to people seeing your reference, because first, this community is very small right now. Not that many people are gonna see it. We're all nice in here. If anyone is mean to you, you let me know. They're banned from here. If anyone here is judging each other on how, I don't know, they look or whatever, you let me know. I will ban their ass off. So here it's a safe space. Do not worry. Nobody's going to judge you. At the most, even if like if you're wearing a cool t-shirt, we're going to be like, oh, it's a nice t-shirt. Like the director on the movie that I'm working on right now, he said to one of my friends, oh, that's a nice t-shirt. That's the only time he acknowledged the existence of my friend and not of the character. So that's what I get. Like, it, you're going to see that the more you do it, the more you're comfortable with people seeing you, you're going to notice that they're not seeing you. And this, you need to be caref careful, not like prepared, because if you get into a studio and it's not remote uh, with the pandemic there's more chances of more remote work but let's say it's not remote you go to the studio my first experience in a studio was we would shoot reference like imagine i was still very self i'm still very self-conscious i hate looking at myself but <laughs> my first reference i shoot it and the way that dailies, dailies are basically every single day you have feedback with either the head of character animation or the director, whatever. The first time the head of character animation saw my reference, we would have to go to dailies in a big room that it was like a tiny the cinema with booths, like, like the actual cinema like seats and a big ass screen. The screen was so big. It was like three or four me's. I'm not that tall, but still three or four me's. Is a... So imagine, like right now, you don't even know who's watching your reference. You know I'm watching it, but you don't know how many other people are watching it. You don't see their faces. You don't know what they're thinking of you. But imagine sitting there with, I don't know, three, four or five other animators, depending how many were there at the time, because we would be called per sequence to go to the daily room. Not every animator would be there because it's a waste of time. But like, let's say six of us were in the room, plus the animation director, plus the head of character animator or that animation or even the directors were they were in this case um, in L.A. So they were on another, even on another studio, they were at DreamWorks with their big screens too. And everyone was watching you, huge acting. And imagine for someone like me, I'm not the best at acting. I can animate, but I, I can interpolate what I see in my reference into my animation. But I don't have the best facial expression. I can tell my face to do what it needs to do. I also don't have that much movement in my face for some reason. Like I know that I can get this mouth corner here, but this one is really hard for me. It doesn't go there. I also don't have too much control over what my eyebrows do, or like I don't have control over this. And everyone was seeing my reference. Bang! Like, let's say like that whole wall there, all of that was me. Did I die? No. Do I, did I feel like, did anyone make me feel bad about it? 
No. Did they just comment on what the character would be doing, if that was appropriate for the character? They, yeah, that was it. And I'm pretty sure, I'm like very, very sure that the only reason why I remember that experience is because it was my first time ever, that like that ever happened. But I'm pretty sure no one else remembers that day. Like I'm more than sure because I don't remember every time someone else show, show the reference. I don't remember. And I, I know I've seen it. I remember probably that my friends who were in my same sequence also show the reference at the same time as me. Do I remember? <laughs> no. I don't remember what they were showing because nobody cares. Like the only time people care is when you do a really good work or when you do a really funny reference. Like the other day at work, someone was doing a funny reference and they fell and it was really funny and they showed it to us. That honestly, I know it's easier said than done. And I know you're feeling the struggle and it's really hard and I get it. Honestly, I get it because... Every time I have to shoot reference, even now, I a little bit die on the inside. But every single day, it gets a little bit easier. I die on the inside also, like mainly because my facial expressions are not good, and I want my reference to be good. And also, I don't have control over my body that well. So when I move, I'm not as precise as I think I am in my head. And then I sh show, my, I see my reference, like, oh, why is it so bad? That's why I feel bad. But I don't feel bad anymore about seeing myself. It's like I see myself, I'm like, yeah, whatever. I don't care. I'm seeing the character through me. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's going to take time. Again, it's not that tomorrow you're going to show reference and you're, oh, I'm, I'm cured. <laughs> but it's going to get easier. That's what I can tell you. Like, now I, and also, you're an animator. You're going to have to show reference to a bunch of people. Just get used to it. Because honestly, <laughs> You're going to have to do it. It sucks. Like, there's there's no way around this industry without showing your reference. There's some people who do it. Like I had a lead who always asked people for reference. And I, one of my friends said, oh, yeah, yeah. He never does his own reference. He always asks other people. I, was, I found that very interesting and funny. But I'm pretty sure when he started he did his own reference. But also now that he's a lead, he barely had time to breathe. Like he would animate on his, on overtime. He wouldn't, it was like, so nobody cared and everyone was more than happy to help him because he was also the sweetest person ever. But when you're starting out, you can't depend on other people doing your reference. Yeah, exactly. So honestly, next time for next week, shoot some reference. If you're not feeling comfortable, send it to me, I will give you feedback outside of the stream. I would not recommend it. I would recommend showing it here. But if you feel really, really bad and like you feel like you're going to have an anxiety attack for showing it on the stream, you can show it even to me. You can send it to me privately, not even on Discord, and I can review it there. Again, I would not recommend that because this is a great opportunity for you to start getting over that fear. Because once you show it here and you see that nobody cares, you're going to be like, okay, I survived that experience. Nothing happened. So I would recommend posting it for everyone to see. Again, everyone. There's not that many people here. <laughs> yeah, you can do this. Honestly, it sounds really hard. You can do this. I didn't die from showing my reference. You're not going to die from showing it. Like, you're going to feel bad maybe on the inside. Sure. But it's literally your head doing all of that work. Because none of us are going to care about who you are, but about who the character is in your reference. So don't worry. Honestly, it's going to be okay. I hope that rant <laughs> helped. But I've been through it. Like, I... I I still hate, like, my friends know they're not allowed to post pictures of me unless I approve them. Because I hate how I look. And 
I'm I don't want to see horrible pictures of me in the in the wild world of the internet. So they always be like, hey, can I post this? And I'm like, I check it. It's like, yeah, yeah, okay, that one is okay. Usually, and they take they take pictures from me from behind or in the dark, and those ones are okay. Like the other day, we went to a light show thingy, like a an um, an art installation that it was all light sculptures and then darkness and my friend was like come on let me take a picture he's just like fine but only because you won't see my face and i'm wearing a mask <laughs> so half of my face is covered anyway <laughs> and she took really beautiful pictures of me i was like oh my god i love this thank you so much i really like this <laughs> so again i'm i'm not perfect i'm not cured from all of those things but it got better. Before, I would have never allowed anyone to take a picture of me. Small steps. Tiny 